Good evening, everyone. My name is Asad Lalji. I'm the curator here at the Royal Opera House and have been since we reopened in 2016 after a hiatus of 25 years. On behalf of the royal family of Gondal, Ashish Doshi, Henri Director, and myself, welcome to India's only surviving opera house and your city's very own cultural crown jewel. At the Royal Opera House, we are constantly striving to bring newer perspectives and voices to the maximum city and are committed to showcasing diverse classical and contemporary performances with consistently curating programs to give opportunities and experiences to the city, which will be long remembered. Bringing Unmasked to the Royal Opera House stage reflects the dedication of, uh, to artistic innovation, cultural celebration, and supporting national talent. When I first heard about the concept of Unmasked from friends in New Delhi, the innovative take on the epic intrigued me. After sold-out performances that left the nation's capital spellbound, the student guru turned director-producer pair Jyotsna Shori and Anisha Grover now present the Mumbai premiere of this dance recital. Tonight's performance, Unmasked, When Ravan Walked the Earth, is a melange of Bharatanatyam and contemporary dance, comedy and theater, mythology and fiction. It promises to take you on a unique journey through perspectives, overlooked yet pivotal characters of the Ramayana. Without further ado, please welcome acclaimed Bharatanatyam artist and director of today's performance, Jyotsna Shori. But before that, may I request you to put your phones on silent and get ready to be mesmerized. Thank you very much for being here this evening and enjoy the performance. Thank you. I, Mandodari, wish to create a portrait of a man, a unique man. Let vibrant colors run riot and disclose to you his exceptional qualities. Bravo, bravo, what a riveting performance, scintillating, stupendous. What do you think, Nandita, huh? Well, Professor, I mean, it was nice. I mean, it was okay. Okay, just okay. What do you mean, just okay? Well, you know, the concept is a bit far-fetched. I mean, you know, Ravan, the most evil of all villains. How could he possess such exceptional qualities? Yes, but that was his wife, Mandodri, speaking. For her, her husband was a man with a prodigious intellect, with extreme, extreme devotion to the arts and the crafts, and... Okay, all right. Relax, Professor Tharoor. Uh. God, always so long-winded. Uh, you mean sesquipedalian, Nandita. Just, just stop. And, and please call me Nans. Uh, Nans, I like the sound of that. But you know what I mean? She was his wife. And she loved him for his good qualities. Good? Yes. I mean, evil is evil. You know what? Let me send you back in my time machine to the time of the Ramayan so you can see for yourself exactly what happened. Eh? <laughs> yeah, right. Me in Ayodhya watching the Ramayan yes. live. Yes. Well, it might be my first Diwali without any pollution. <laughs> good point. Mm. Wait, wait. You have a time machine. Of course. Let me tell you a secret. I was born in 1856, yet here I am. How do you think I look so good, huh? Chavan Prash? Uh, that too, but no. Let, my time machine is not going to send you back to Ayodhya. You, my dear, are going to Lanka to see for yourself what happened and to judge Ravan for yourself.
No God, no demon, no heavenly spirit, no serpent, no wild beast could ever harm him. Oh, well, that's got it covered. Aha, but it takes someone with a sharp legal mind to notice one very important missing word. And what word is that? Just wait and watch. It will reveal itself. The entire conspiracy started at the celebration of Ravana and Mandodri's first child. Let me show you. The astrologer is here with his magical cowrie shells. These can predict the future of the little princess.
she will cause the destruction of the entire Rakshasa race. One of the Kardashians has made an entry into Lanka. Okay, uh, let me check on chat GPT. Okay. Uh, okay. Surpanakha. Yes. Sister of Ravan. That's the one. Ah, uh, AI to the rescue. <laughs> <gasps> Do you not see the pitiable state I am in? Oh, brother, you must ensure that downfall. Why do you turn a deaf ear to my cries? These cold-hearted princes from Ayodhya, they must pay for this brutal crime. With these spells, I curse them and thereby will set in motion a series of morbid events change the course of antiquity. Takatatum. 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 Tum tum. Tan me. Bhavami. Takatatum. Tum tum. Tan me. Bhavami. Housewives of Ashok Vatika. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Am I in Ravan's harem? Oh my god. No, 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 no. It, it, it can't be possible. I mean, it's, it's, it's never mentioned in Valmiki's Ramayana that Mandodri and Sita are mother and daughter. Nandita, the Ramayana is an ancient epic. There are many versions of it. In one version, the Adbhut Ramayana, written by Valmiki himself, 
Sita is revealed as the daughter of Mandodri. Now, where is it? Uh, here. Let me read, read you something from it. Ravana used to store the blood of sages he killed in an earthen vessel. He used to drink it to gain yogic powers. Ew, gross. The milk of the sacred Darva grass was also stored in a similar earthen vessel. Oh, so there were two vessels. Yes. Hmm, the plot thickens. It just so happened that Ravana, in a fit of anger, mixed the milk with the blood. Okay. Now Mandodri unknowingly drank the contents and the powers of this potion led to her getting pregnant with a girl child. Wait, wait, is, is this the same girl child that the astrologer had said would cause the destruction of the entire Rakshas race? Exactly. Soon after the child was born, she was hastily buried and left for dead. But she survived and was found by the king of Mithila. That child was Sita? Mm. Survivors and I, Mandodari, am destined to survive alone. Amongst this rubble are brave soldiers, and my precious children lie slain as menacing vultures feed on fallen corpses. Towering flames engulf our once beautiful city, reducing it to an ominous cloud of dust and destruction. The boons of Brahma and Shiva had made you the most powerful mortal in the world. Hence, a group of players were hastily assembled to mastermind this web of intrigue. Surpanaka was primed for revenge. The noble Maricha agreed to the abduction. And strangely, Sita, my own child, was the catalyst that caused your demise. Here on this battlefield, alone, I must question if there had never been my Ravana, would there have ever been a Rama? For thousands of years, people have believed that Ravan had met his rightful end, as he had violated the moral code of conduct by abducting Ram's devoted wife. As his lifeless body lay cold on the battlefield, it was established that good had triumphed over evil. Yet, 
even the most sinister amongst us do have good qualities, while those who appear honorable may have hidden agendas. The truth is, there is no clear-cut yardstick to measure morality, for the norms change in every era. <laughs> Yet, once in a while, a Ram or a Ravan will appear in our midst and cause us to pause and reflect how their actions might either inspire us or outrage us. And that's a choice you have to make. Thank you, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed the show. We've had a great time putting it together, and we are so delighted to be here this evening. And um, thank you again. I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> I'd like to thank some special people who have made this possible. Of course, all our sponsors, and uh, Asad Lalji, and Milind on the uh, sound. Oh. Lights, excuse me. <laughs> Nitya on the sets, Vanya on the mics and uh, music. Daniel George, of course, yes, <laughs> who's been responsible for the music from the very start. And PJ, are you here? Yes, you are. I see you. Thank you for all your inputs. Master G's son. My Master G and Maithili, uh, who's, I've been with them since the time I was five, and they have taught me whatever I have known about Bharatanatyam. I hope you have, Maithili, Mami, I hope you're not disturbed by what you saw. <laughs> I'm not, it's not Bharatanatyam, but it's a, a way to maybe wind it. Thank you so much. Thank you, all my family and friends, and all of you here who have been a part of the show and have enjoyed it, and thank you again. Thank you.